So moving on to the pedal that I know you guys wanted to buy first of all, but uh, I've told you to buy it third, uh, is this jobby. Here we go. <laughs> Can you guess it yet? The wah wah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I know it's the first pedal everybody wants to buy, but I told you to buy the distortion first. It's about third on the list, I think. It's, it's a cool pedal to have, great for, you know, the usual stuff, the funk stuff, and great for some distortion stuff. So if I just kind of. A little bit of a funk thing. Um, Perfect for that sort of stuff. It's you know it's 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 a handy little thing. Great for I've, uh, the, the the thing that people don't that get wrong is where to put the wah wah in the chain. Now I'm telling you now I've got the wah wah first. My guitar is coming up here, straight into the wah-wah. It's coming out there, into the compression pedal, which I have on for that sort of a sustain. There's a, uh, a cool, I forgot, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is there's a cool way and an uncool way of using a wah-wah. Um, not so cool way is to pump it in time with the track, which is very, very predictable. You're just sort of going it's just kind of quite boring, but you can you can soup it up a bit by doing different rhythmic things with it. So I'm trying to accent the you know the chord. The other cool thing you can do is uh, you can bring out certain frequencies with your distortion pedal, so I'll turn the tube screamer on, and uh, I can just leave a wah wah in a certain position, and it will kind of bring out that frequency in the sound. So. You can hear that, those harmonics leaping out there. The main rule when using a wah wah, the absolute number one rule is do not do wah wah mouth. I'll show you what I mean. I hate to see guitar players do this. You can see we've got, with three pedals, you've got a, 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 killer, a tiny, you know, a tiny setup, but it's great. It's really versatile. You've got your clean, your chunky, your full on, and a wah wah as well. So, the thing about wah wahs is, uh, some of them they do vary, but I've got the standard Crybaby one here. Uh, they all pretty much do the same thing. They do affect your actual guitar signal ever so slightly, unless you get one with something called true bypass, which means when it's off. It's completely bypassed the signal. This is a standard one. Uh, I'm running on batteries. A bit noisy when you turn it on, but it's rock and roll, isn't it? So, uh, pretty cool. So what's be next? 